Hey everybody, BTO Pro here, and today I'm going to dig into this issue, which I actually just... Oh, I thought I closed it. No, all right, I'll have to hit close. All right, it's closed now. So just added support for this. What is it? So um, notice this on some other websites I went to. If you're watching a video, it's on screen. You leave the focus of that frame, pauses it automatically. Now, on the one hand, that could be a little annoying if you're trying to just go do other things and not pay attention, not looking at anyone, a la my entire class for the last three years. But let's say that you were wanting to pay attention and we just wanted to stop the video for your benefit. Like a two-hour lecture, which we don't do a lot of, but let's say that you had to watch a two-hour lecture and you just want to you know, put on Netflix and another tab and act like this is running in the background in case we're tracking you. We're definitely tracking you. We could totally track you. Everyone can track you anywhere. So how do we solve this problem and give you a better user experience? Um, no, most of the time you actually aren't doing that on purpose. Now we could make a setting where you just forcibly say, hey, do this, or we're going to allow in hacks that you can override this. But this is the idea is using the visibility change event that the browser emits on document and then responding to that appropriately. So the example they give is, hey, you're playing music, you change between the tabs, you want it to pause and play again. Now music, obviously we're not gonna do with music because you would wanna potentially play that in the background, but it's common, you might have like, watch this five minute video clip, answer some questions about it. We want you to be in the you know quiz environment or whatever and not like opening other tabs, doing other things. So here's how this works in practice. So I'm gonna reload the page, We've got our auto loading as we scroll around and I'm not gonna play Bueller even though it's wonderful. Um, so I don't get dinged on copyright. So imagine there's a video playing, right? User skipping around or whatever. And then visibility has changed. Now claims it's still, oh, actually the little icon went away. It's no longer playing audio. All right, now, as soon as I go back to it, Starts playing again. Go away. Stops. Come back to it. And so here is the fun little code that makes that happen. So because we're doing web components, easy peasy. Uh, this is our video hyphen player tag. It is brilliant engineering, primarily from Nikki. Um, so what I've added in is on first updated we're seeing if there's a flag for allow background play now we are going to allow you check a box and say i want people to be able to play this in the background so this is uh the default is to pause when the tab loses focus we'll show some ways around that so you can cheat on the system anyway but uh if we are not in this state we are going to set a document level event of visibility change and then this is important we're going to bind the callback to us, the web component that put this on the page. So if I got 20 videos, I got 20 of these event listeners for visibility change. Then each of them is going to determine if it actually should do anything. So then when visibility changes back, so I click off, right? This is gonna fire this callback. So I've changed tabs in this case, document.visibility state is polled and we see, oh, we're hidden and we were playing, we're going to query the media player and toggle it off. So we're gonna tell it to stop playing. This assumes we were playing. If we weren't playing, it doesn't do anything. Now we come back, we're visible. Again, are we not playing? Did we forcibly pause before, right? Which is this flag set on just that video, disable the flag and then toggle our video back on. And so it's that easy to get tied into that state change. Now, let me show you it again, right? talking, it's not talking, playing, it's not playing, right? And this is not specific to that video, I'll play just a very small segment of that. And I click away and he's gonna stop saying it. And then you see the little icon go away. And then I do that one because it's a little bit more obvious because it has to unpause. So now here's a way around that. So visibility is not changing, right? Because technically I could probably, you know, take this tab and throw it off to the 
side of the screen. We can make it real small, right? If I scroll away from it, it is still playing. Now we do have support for this nice little mini mode with the player, right? So it's still playing in this context, even though it's not on screen. And so that's not a 100% guarantee that it's gonna work. Now, if I put it in this tab group, it's lost visibility. And so that is only going to fire when it's relative to the tab group that it's in. So now that it's in this tab group, auto plays, auto stops. So hope you found this interesting. We're gonna be rolling this into probably the next version of the video player whenever that comes out. We did just do a major release of all of our assets. So this is kind of sampling what's coming down the pipe. But if you wanna find out more about any of our projects and these zany elements as I keep sending stuff out, uh, it's hackstheweb.org for all the details about this. And we're gonna be doing a lot of revamp on this site over the next few months. Stay tuned.